And why are you out here today? I am out here today to protest Governor Walker's assault on workers' rights. In what way? Can you elaborate a little? Well, I feel that um, Walker really tried to push, like steamroll his budget bill, his budget repair bill, to clarify. And he did it without trying to allow people a chance to actually take a look at it. And there were a lot of things in there that, did ha that had nothing to do with the budget. So I'm here to protest that. I asked a lot of people last week, uh, a lot of public employees, uh, and they to said that uh, they were willing to, uh, financial concessions they were willing to do. Uh, it seems to be a recognition that there doesn't even be some additional sacrifice, but that collective bargaining is really... Why is that so Absolutely. important? Uh, well, the, the money thing, it's really not about the money. Uh, if I have a job next year with having to pay more into my health benefits and pension, I would actually be at the poverty line. But I say if I have a job next year because I am one of the teachers that was given a potential layoff notice. Um, so I feel that for Governor Walker to cut over $900 million of education from the state, you know, Wisconsin is known for its high quality education and he's absolutely destroying it with this budget repair bill. He's completely taking away our voice when he takes our collective bargaining rights away. You're from uh, Hayward? You work at the Hayward Hospital? Yes, we do. So are you guys uh, union at all or public We're employees? We're union, but we believe in the democracy for the people. So you're, you're uh, Hayward uh, Hospital employees? Correct. Well, they're, they have unions there, right? No, we don't have a union. No. You don't have a union in Hayward? No. But, uh, uh, Our teachers are all unionized, of course, but not the hospital. Right. Well, I thought the nurses belonged to a union. Some, Ashland nurses are unionized, but Hayward is not. Oh, okay. And so I you're you're non-union workers, but you're out here, you're out here supporting uh, public employees. Uh. We're supporting we're public employees, and we're supporting democracy for all and equal taxation. Um, we're for the workers' rights and the middle class. Well, yeah, let me ask you this: There's some people saying, you know, democracy also involves representational government, and there's some criticism of the 14 senators leaving and preventing. Uh, procedures going forward. Any comment on that? I am very proud of what our what the senators have done because this is what they had to do to stand up for the rights of the people. I feel they're caught between a rock and a hard place, and I am very very proud of what they've done. Do you think that's a little legitimate strategy to use, like even locally, uh, to prevent a quorum? Maybe local uh, supervisors or city councils not attending a meeting to prevent a vote. Is that a legitimate strategy? You know, I've not thought that much into it. Um, I just feel that this, what's going on right now, is a major disruption of rights. And I feel that what the senators did was they had they had no choice because this, this bill would have been passed, and hopefully it will make a difference in the end. Okay. I guess I'm wondering if an eight-year veteran of the Navy and the Naval Reserves, Assemblyman Nick Milroy, should be tackled by police and taken to the floor of the Capitol building by officers who may well be out of the jurisdiction of Dane County and under a legal authority that seems to be at this point unknown. It's a disgrace to the state of Wisconsin and something should be done about that. Here out here today, uh, Steve Carlson Trigo. Any thought on what's going on out here? Uh, obviously, you're, uh, I assume you're not part of a union? No, I'm not. You're in a... Uh, uh, you're a Democrat. I'm a You're former a... Ask, ask Me member okay. in the interest okay. of full disclosure, but I'm not a member of the union now. Okay. Why are you out here today then? I'm out here today because this is an unprecedented power grab by a power mad governor. And the people that are on this corner that are showing up on corners all over Wisconsin and Madison understand that. And we've got an obligation and we're meeting it to defend the history of this state when it comes to workers' rights, when it comes to the rights of Medicaid recipients, when it comes to the rights of seniors on senior care. The people out here today aren't just out here, I think, to defend collective bargaining. They're out here to defend the, the way of life that has made Wisconsin great. Okay. Republicans are criticizing Senator Jauk for uh and the other 13 Democrats are leaving the state uh, for advocating their duties. Any comments on that? 
they're not abdicating their duties, they're meeting their duties to slow that bill down, to give the public time to understand exactly what it's going to mean to the future of Wisconsin. I applaud those state senators. I've written articles and blog posts applauding Bob Jauk. I'll contribute to a fund to keep him out of state as long as necessary, as long as it's legal, and I'll certainly defend him against any recall attempt uh, sometime next year or in the next election. <laughs>